morning everybody so today I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me type of video I'm just going to work and stuff today so I thought I would do a little bit of a chatty video actually I haven't been able to do a chatty video because my house has been so noisy lately so yeah first thing I'm going to take is the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water um, and I'm going to just spread this, this all over the face really use this ever by itself so today I'm going to try it out by itself and see what I think. Um, I kind of don't gravitate towards this too much I just don't feel like it will work. I suppose I haven't really given it much of an option or like a chance to be honest. So for foundation today which I'm not going to start with straight away but I want to prep it. I'm going to be taking the MAC face and body foundation with some of the MAC studio fix and I like to just let this kind of get some air and heat up a little bit for this foundation. So I'm going to Put some of this on the back of a little jar. Okay, so now I'm going to start with correcting and concealing and stuff. So to correct, I'm going to take the Smashbox correctors. Okay, so I'm going to do these and I'm just going to put them by my eyes. So I'll do the dark one right on the inner corners or where my eyes are very, very dark. And then the lighter one everywhere which needs to be sharpened so bad okay then I'm going to buff that out with a sponge I think and you want to be gentle around the eye area and then I'm just going to take my MAC Match Master Concealer and this as well I'm just going to apply under the eye area just to conceal and on the eyelids to prep and prime And then anywhere where I have lots of like red spots or anything like that, lots of scarring. Just like that. I love this concealer. I want to do a video on all the MAC concealers and like try them all out and stuff. Um, that any of you would want to do, might want me to do that. I could do that like one day. And I'm gonna go in with the foundation. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques. What is this? Buffing brush. But first, I'm just gonna mix this with a paddle brush. And apply it just to the base. So I do have a tan on, like big tan on and I don't really have a foundation that <laughs> matches it um, to like the tea although these do match to be honest I feel like the lighting on the camera makes it come off but like, in person they match but um, when I have a tan I can pretty much wear the lightest shade of lightest shade of foundation that oh, we have offered here in South Africa or um, like the next shade, the second shade, but I don't really go much darker than the lighter shades. So I mean, look at that, that this kind of works pretty well for my fake tan. Do you know, I used to be this shade, or like this skin color before, because I used to wear NC20. <laughs> It's a bit darker than this actually, and this is NC NW15. So my skin tone over the years has changed completely, like completely. I don't know if it's from being sick. I don't know what it is, but this year in December I was NC20 and all of that, and then this is NW15, and I have to wear fake tan to wear it. Like that is how pale. I truly have gotten and I don't know if it's just from being sick, like from my sickness or what, but there's something. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to brows. So for brows, I'm going to do the MAC Dirty Blonde Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream.
Okay, so that's brows and done. And now I'm going to go in with powdering the base. So I'm going to start with kind of all creases out of my eyes. So that's, and then I'm going to take a big powder brush and my Yardley loose powder. Okay, so now I've just done baking, or what we call it is the fuckle with catnate. So now if I apply it into my eyes, any fallout I can just sweep away. So for my eyes today, I'm going to be taking some MAC stuff. Um, I'm actually using a pigment. I love pigments. But um, I'm going to start the base of my look with MAC Rule. This is a Crease 145 brush from Carlo. And I'm going to apply this into my crease. This will be my transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Red Brick. And this is a blending 311 now from Carla. And then I'm gonna go back in with that same face blending brush and just blend this shade out. So that. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade. And this I'm going to apply in the outer corner and blend Okay, so that's that part done. Now I'm going to go in with the pigment. This is MAC Melon. And I'm just going to use my finger for this because um, I want to use it dry. It shakes them onto my fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a MAC Light 
escapade. Oh. On my highlighting brush. Quite a little bit as well. And I'm going to wipe away the bake with a catch in it. And buffed into the skin. Okay, now I'm going to go in to the lower lash line and I'm going to take whatever is left over on the brush to be used with um, rule, I mean red brick. I'm going to buff that on Mars. product on there. <gasps> it's raining. Okay, I'm gonna take it's just chocolate and buff that under there as well. Sorry guys if you can hear the rain on the roof outside here but it's raining. Anyway so I'm gonna go and contour blush highlight that kind of stuff. I'm using this palette, this is the Allegro Spice Palette. I'm going to bronze up with the bronzing shade. Ooh, nice And then for blush, I'm going to take both of the blushes mixed together. Like that. Then for highlights, I'm just going to take the highlighter in the palette. I don't know what this is like, I can't remember. Okay, so I'm going to take the Stila eyeshadow, and this is in Sun. This is a nice highlighter. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with, um, Under my eyebrow, it's like an eyebrow highlighter. The beautiful. I was trying to get that. I'm gonna take the same one in sun. I'm gonna put it under my brows. I'm gonna blend it out. So well. I'm sorry about. The noise from the rain, guys. I like a plastic roof right here, like by my window. <sighs> so you guys probably hear it so jelly. Okay, then I'm gonna blend one more time. You always wanna blend. Okay, then we're gonna go in with shut your eyeliner. I wanna hold up my eyeliners. Okay, I'm just gonna take this is an Inglot the 23T like eyeliner brush, it's my favorite eyeliner brush. Um, I'm taking the shade Rich Brown, which is like a bronzy brown. I'm just gonna apply this to the eyes. to dry a little bit and then I'm going to go back and pigment a tiny tiny bit more um.
And then for the green, we have some spam. I'm just using my benefit the real one. a mixture of myth and Japanese maples. I'm going to do Japanese maple all over the lips and then myth in the center. Just like that, and that is it. That's a complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's a really great first time of year. We're currently in summer, so it's very summery, beautiful. But yeah, I'll have plenty more. I've got tons of colorful looks coming like blues, purples, greens, all that kind of stuff, and some holes, and all that kind of stuff. So, I'll see you all soon.